In this video, we're going to do a live walkthrough of the positive EV feed within the Outlier Pro tool set. Uh, we're going to cover a lot in this video. So if you have any questions or need a refresher afterwards, uh, be sure to chat us in the app, uh, find us on Discord, uh, DM us on Twitter. You can also go to the in-app support guide um, where we'll have all of this for uh, written out. We got definitions. That there's a lot of information in here. So first things first, we're going to navigate to the EV positive EV tab here. And of course, this is the web app. Um, the iOS app has all the same information. It's just laid out a little bit differently. And um, before we really dive in, uh, let's define what positive expected value is. Uh, positive EV simply refers to situations where the potential payout from a bet is higher than the risk involved. This is a long-term strategy. You're obviously not going to win every single bet, but because you're always taking the high the bet with the highest expected value, you will statistically be more profitable over time. So we see a lot of information on the screen here. Uh, I'm going to take you through the feed here first, and then we're going to talk about the filters across the top, and then we're going to place a few bets and we'll dive in deeper. So I'm actually going to work backwards here. So odds over here, these are the, the best odds available for that bet. This is ultimately the book and the odds that you're going to place uh, when, when you go to place this bet. The no VIG odds, uh, we'll get into a little bit more detail here, but this is calculated as the true odds from the Sharp Sportsbook, meaning that the juice or the VIG has been removed from the odds. Um, the VIG percent, that's simply just the percent of VIG or juice that's placed on the bet at these books. Uh, the Kelly Criterion percentage. So Kelly Criterion is a widely accepted bankroll management strategy. It's used in stock market investing and casino gambling um, and in sports betting. So it's really just, um, that we'll show you a calculation in the, the help articles, but really it's a calculation based on the positive expected value and the implied probability. And in this situation, it's saying that you should bet 7% of your bankroll on this first row. And you'll see that the percentage changes based on the expected value and the implied probability, which is tied to the odds. And then you have the EV percentage and simply the percent of expected value over the true odds um, when we're comparing the soft sports book to the sharp books, which we'll get into a little bit more. So here, let's go across the top to the filters. And this is really where the Outlier Pro product stands apart from some of the other calculators in the market. So DVIG method, uh, the default is multiplicative. Uh, it's considered the standard approach to DVIGging as it's just simple, the simplest and spreads risk evenly. The other three methods are more for betters who understand their own biases towards favorites and underdogs. Um, but we'll, we'll leave it at the default where you can actually just select mul multiplicative. Um, the EV percent. So you'll see a lot of bets with you know less than two or three percent EV as we go into here. Um, generally, you might decide that those aren't worth your time. So you can always just open this up and say you want you only want bets with more than two and a half percent EV. The Kelly multiplier or, or fractional Kelly uh, formulas, th these allow you to represent the bets and be a, a little bit less or a little bit more aggressive. So look, if you change it to half Kelly, you'll see that the, the percent recommended goes down. Um, we're we're going to leave that default. The Kelly percentage filter here is a good way to, when combined with the positive EV filter, is a good way to filter for or filter out long shots. You can kind of see as the percentage goes up, some of the higher odds over here are going down. I'm going to leave that turned off for now. Vig and no vig odds are also another way to, to filter and sort by, um, by the, the ultimate odds on here. Um, bet types are actually really nice once you start to get a feel for which books are sharp on, you know, certain, certain leagues or, you know, certain types of bets. Um, and same for leagues here. You can filter by any league that is available on outlier that night. So let's go in, find some bets. Here's a, a game line for the ducks. So now we're in the market detail screen. Uh, first thing that you'll see uh, is just the, the bet outline. So it's just saying the Ducks to score one goal in the first period. Here are the odds. Uh, you'll find it down here in the chart. Best odds are on FanDuel right now. You'll see the VIG calculation again. Um, and then when you go hop over here, you'll see, uh, again, you saw it on that other screen, but the positive expected value on this is 4%, which is pretty great, actually. 
Um, and then when you start to go look at the DV DVIG books, you'll see that Pinnacle has it at minus 133. So that minus 112 is a 4% improvement over that. Um, and you'll also see some of the other competitive soft books here, like MGM and DraftKings also have it. And you're getting eight points or more just going to FanDuel. Um, you could also sort by, again, if this was a more risky bet, you might only look to do like a half Kelly or a quarter Kelly. Um, what this is saying that is if my uh, bankroll was $1,000, it's saying you should bet $45.70 on here. A half Kelly would be $22.90 and you can go on from there. Um, and it's always, you know, it doesn't hurt to go look at some of the trends. I mean, Outliers providing a lot of statistical data um, based on team and player props, of course. So honestly, this seems like a pretty good bet and you're getting four plus percent value on it. So I am going to add this to my picks. Okay, now let's back out and find a couple more bets to, to show off here. Um, I'm actually going to filter for college football. Um, I've done pretty solid with that during during the beta test here. So um, I don't have anything filtered right now. Uh, the quickest way when you're just exploring this is just to like sort by either Kelly or the EV percent, uh, in my opinion. So let's kind of hop through here, pick a couple games that we like. Um, this one's interesting. First quarter spread. I think it's Baylor versus... Cincinnati. Uh, this one's always fun when you find one that's going from uh, negative odds to plus odds. So this is saying um, that Pinnacle has this at minus 105. And then if you actually hop over to a soft book, you're actually getting plus money on it. Um, in this case, it's not a huge amount of EV, but still greater than 2%. So um, and when we go in and look at this, you know, you can kind of see how the teams match up. We got uh, how they compare across the whole field. We got their team rankings. You can always hop into injuries and whatnot as well. I'm going to add it to the picks. Okay, now that we have both of our bets, we're going to hop back out uh, and open up our bet slip and actually go take these bets. Um, you'll see that they are not available on the same book. So you'll actually see the line discrepancy here if you took this first Ducks game on DraftKings as well as this one. So we're going to take them individually. So we're going to open up FanDuel. And we're going to open up DraftKings. Now, the most important part of all this is just to make sure that the odds are exactly the same as when you find them here. And I believe we had the recommended wagers at about $40 and $20 if we went and looked at the Kelly number again. So I'm going to take this, put in the 20. And you'll see these opened up directly. We didn't need to go search for the bets or anything like that. It's the power of outlier. FanDuel is taking a second to check the odds. And we're going to place this bet. All right. All right. And the bet's placed. It's as simple as that. I'll clear up my bet slip. Um, you know, positive expected values is somewhat complex topic but once it clicks in your head you're going to be able to blaze through these bets placing smarter picks and you know growing your bankroll over time um, in other videos we're going to hit over on boosts arbitrage betting middle bets and more um, if you have any questions like i said find us on the support chat um, there's plenty of help articles in there but you know we're, we're generally on the live chat and again, you can ask questions in Discord and Twitter or send us an email at support at outlier.bet. Thank you. See you soon.